Uh, go and open your design in this instance. We're just going to use a uh, one design. Um, I like to set up, as you can see here, I like to set up my gang sheets and then I will bring them in and just create the spot color. So we're going to use this dragon design. Um, so the first thing I like to do is to make sure that none of my design is touching the edge. Um, as you can see, if it's touching the edge here, the white's going to poke out. So we're going to do some safe space. We just go file, canvas size, and I'm just going to add two pixels to this. And now you can see that we've just created a little one pixel safe space around the design. Next, we want to go to our layer and we're going to go and just hover over the layer, hold down control and then do a left click. And this brings up your mask and your mask should look like this. So you can see you've got the mask going around the design. Um, and we need to now tell the machine um, to bring in the white. So we're going to say select. Uh, we're going to go modify and we're going to go contract. And my default is two pixels. You can go more. You could do one pixel, but it's 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 not. A, it can be tricky. Um, so two pixels is our standard. We click OK. And now you can see that the picks that this is where the white's going to come in. So you can see on this design, I'm actually losing some of this detail. Um, so this is where in your design, you may want to thicken up these lines um, um, because of these lines are too thin and we're not going to be able to get white behind them. Um, sometimes with black, we do, we can get the adhesive to stick on black because it is, um, it does come out as a mixture of CYMK. So it's quite a thick layer, the black is. Um, now this is where we create our spot channel. We go channel, we hit our menu, and then we're going to go to new spot channel. Don't go to new channel, new spot channel. Once you click here, you're going to probably have no name here. You have to keep, you have to put W1 like this, capital W. You want your color, you can choose whatever color you like. You know, if you did want to do a, a white, you could do white, you could do a lime green, whatever color. It's there just to show you, um, just to show you where the white's going to come in. Go to 100% for the eyes. We can dial down the color here, but I do mine at 100%. And now we click OK. And now you can see where the white is going to be laid behind the color. Uh, once we're done here, and you can see that the white, we're giving it a nice two pixel space. We are ready to save, file, save as. We're going to select a TIFF. It doesn't matter if your profile's on or off. We've tested it. You can, you can maybe test and try with and without, see what works for you. And I just click save. And these are our standard. You know, we just want to keep our standard settings. This, these should be unticked. And then when you click OK, this is when you can, you can save it. I actually like whenever I do my spot color and I go save as, I actually like to call mine um, dragon. I would put SC on the end, just standing for spot color, just like I did here. And that way it's going to, you know that that's your file. Once you save this, um, this is now going to be a file you can open and print directly through main top. Thank you.